Hey YouTube, this is Spartan64 here, and today I have another Magic the Gathering video. Today we have another intro pack. I uh, haven't done one of these in a while, but uh, this is the Path to Victory intro pack. It is white and blue, and uh, it's from the 2013 core set. Um, this one is, well obviously, well some most of the intro packs actually from M13 are actually pretty good. This one in particular is actually pretty decent. Um, I was looking at the deck list online and really was interested in this Odric. Um, mainly because... Well, I'm trying to build a white-blue uh, uh, human stack. But uh, I'm kind of... Uh, I'm like, I just want to start like right now. Well, I... Just kind of decided I wanted to um, a few days ago, so. And, uh, yeah, this is a really cool deck. Oh, drink. And, uh, if you don't know, they changed the look of the packaging a lot if you want to see it. Like, still have the one that I had from, like, a while ago, but they're the same height. Um,. This one's more bulkier. It might take up a lot more cardboard. This one might not be as eco-friendly as the other one because they're. I'll show you, but yeah, it comes with two boosters, like I said. And then I always like to read the little spell on the back. It says, "Pat to victory. Attack early and often with your ever-growing battalion." Under the command of Odric, Master Tatician, your troops will overwhelm your opponents, even dictating their blocking decisions if you attack with three or more creatures. Blue flyers provide air support as you march to victory. Sorry. But, uh, face a greater challenge, and this is stuff about the online game or whatever. So, let's go ahead and pop this open. Can never open. I always have the worst luck with these. There we go. There right, you go. Let's just slide this out if you'll. There you go. These are real. If you don't know what intro packs are, there's basically these really, really helpful. Uh, uh, 60 card ready to play standard decks that are you can play in tournaments. Uh, they're really good for beginners because it gets them just really, really um, started off with the games like really quickly, and it's just a great way to get into Magic the Gathering if you're new. Um, and I don't know if there's such thing, but um, if I don't know if there is, like I said, but. Um, actually this is a really cool packaging, but, um, like, if, like, in comic shops they give you, um, just, like, intro packs like these, it seems kind of thin, but, um, and then you just play with that and see how you do, and you can only change what you have in the booster bag, so, that's just kind of something I always do, but, we have a rule book. I guess we'll just take this out just in case you guys haven't seen it. Um, well, just. I guess they kind of updated it the last time I saw it. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. So, the different pack arts. This kind of shows a diagram of whatnot. Pretty cool. And here's your, all the planeswalkers. And then on the back, it just uh, shows a diagram of the cards and stuff. It's pretty cool. I actually kind of learned a lot from that when I first started. And this is just a, a little leaflet for M13. I'm planning on getting a box of Gate Crash. I'm really, really excited for that set to be released. I'm actually not too sure when the. At least it is. I think it's sometime in 
arch? No, I don't know. Um, some sort of color wheel thing. I'm already up to five minutes, but uh, let's. And here's all the deck. Work. So let's go ahead and get started with the thing. Looks like a pretty cool deck. Alright. So we have Odric. Hold on, let me just raise the camera. So there we have our shiny foil Odric. I really, really like the foil on this one. Looks really good. So it is a 3 4 for 4, 2 generic, 2 white with first strike, and at least 3 other. Whenever Odric and at least three other creatures attack. Um, you choose which creatures block this combat and how those creatures block, which is very, very, very cool. You, I, I think this guy probably gets really annoying at times. You only get one, but I mean, because it's a rare, but it's a really cool card. Um, I'm actually, I was never really too sure what first strike was, but um, it's pretty cool. That'd be awesome if I got a. Odric out of one of these packs. That's cool. Put that up there. So we have Chronomaton. It's a pretty cool artifact. One one for one. One generic tap. Put put a plus one plus one counter on Chronomaton. I'm sure it adds up pretty quickly. Get two of those. Uh, Silver Coat Lion. Two two for two. Just a simple one one. Or two two. A Johnny Sunstriker, a pretty awesome card. 2-2 two, two for 2 lifelink. Got 3 of those. A Tented Knight. I'm actually, I don't really like this card. Just because it's a 3 drop. It's not really something you can just throw it on, like, something like Silver Coat Line. You probably could a little bit quicker than this, which is already a 3 drop. Which, what has First Strike. And when it ends the battlefield, we'll put a white one, one on a white soldier token. Crusader of Odric, this is an okay card for three. Uh, it's power and toughness is equal to the number of creatures you control, so it's pretty cool. Got two of those. Arctic Avon, two one for three flyer. We're flying for evasion. You guys plus one plus one as long as you control, you control planes. If one planes, it gains lifelink. Got two of those. Courtly Prerogator, not too big on this card, one one for three. Uh, tap target creature attacks the turn of fable. Tap target creature blocks this turn of fable. It's it's an iffy card for me. Uh, two Griffin protectors, two three for four. Eh, it's all right. I'm not gonna go over all the cards, but we have Healer of the Pride, which is a pretty sick card. Two three for four. And uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain two life. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Butterfly Eagle, 2-2 two, two for 5, flying. I'm not really too big on how the mana cost is big. I actually don't really like that. I wish it was uh, lower for some of these cards. But, uh, you know, that's not a big deal. Fairy Invaders, Sarah Angel. That's awesome. Uh, Kept another watch, which is sweet. There's our other rare. Evolving Wilds. Our planes, islands, and here we go. I'm just gonna put these down, then it'll be easier. Ring of Thune, Glorious Charge, Downpour. I actually kind of like this card. Oh, I like the artwork. It's actually kind of cool. Oblivion Ring Sweet, Safe Passage, Captain's Call, two of those, Divine Verdict, awesome. And Tricks of the Trade. So let's see what we get out of our booster packs. I think I actually have a Captain of the Watch as well, so that'll go along with it pretty well. So, yeah. There's probably a lot more I can add to the deck, but which I probably am going to do, but 
I'm gonna add that Odric to when I make the human stack. And it seems like the return to Ravnica packs are really easy to open. We have Silver Coat Lion, Blood Hunter Bat, Distant Tomb, Mind Sculpt, War Clan, Clan Mastiff, Sign and Blood, Rook of, of the Pearl Trident, Divine Verdict again. Another one to add to my deck. I don't think it needs it. Crater Eyes, Pass Whistle, Crimson Muck Waiter, Harbor Bandit. Kite Sail and Diabolic Revelation again. Jeez, I hate that card. I keep getting it. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's just kind of annoying how I keep getting it. Let's see if we have a foil. We do have a foil, which is that's pretty sweet. So we have Safe Passage, Leon Shade, Harbor Serpent, Erase, uh, Fire Elemental, just big vanilla dude, Hollow Visionary, Serpent's Gift, Walking Corpse, Battleflight Eagle, Billboard Ghoul, Munvuli Beast Tracker, Cleaver Riot. And Void Stalker, which is pretty cool actually. Oh, there's a soldier token, a planes, and. Ah, oh, cool. Cool, um. Phyrexian Hulk, uh, foil. Uh, 5 4 for 6. Uncommon. Just cool vanilla dude. It's awesome. Too bad it doesn't go along with the deck, but still pretty awesome. Um, I didn't actually go over the rares, which is kind of weird. Uh, but Jabalk Revelation is a 5 drop sorcery and search your library for up to X cards. And put those cards into your hand and shuffle your library. And Void Stalker, 2 1 for 2. Uh, for 3, tap, put, it, put this card and target creature on top of their owner's libraries. Um, then choose players, shuffle their libraries. Then those players shuffle their libraries, so it's pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, don't really have much else to say, but I'm pretty cool that I got a foil. And uh, this deck is, it's good. It just needs some improvements, um, in my opinion. That, I mean, if you want to get this guy out earlier and I guess make him bigger and be able to use this ability, you shouldn't have creatures with like, hold on, like, three drops, you should get, like, some one drops, like, um, uh, Farbog Explorer, or, I'm not Farbog Explorer, Doom Traveler, like, that's a really good card for, um, this deck that could be used, um, it's more used with Champion of the Parish, but, I mean, it could work in this deck, if you wanted it to, um, so, I mean, just cards like that, with the one drops, is, is, is it just helps, so, anyways, thanks for watching, Bye bye